Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So let's talk about the HP Victus. So ever since I started covering the MSI GF65 thin with the 1660Ti and the Core i5 10500H, uh, people has been com people have been commenting under my videos to ch uh, asking me to check check out the HP Victus. So uh, I'm late to this video because I've been covering the MSI laptop. It's it's a lot of work, guys. Such a stressful schedule. And making this video such a short span of time as I said the laptop won't be available with me for a long time my brother will be leaving just tomorrow actually so yeah I'm sorry I'm late to the party essay many people have already covered this laptop but anyways I'm gonna give my opinion on it so let's get started uh, first of all I'm gonna start with what I feel is the uh, best value for money option that's actually the highest invariant so in my opinion the best value for money is provided by the highest variant of this laptop so uh, this variance retails for 1 lakh 5000 rupees it's got a Ryzen 7 5800H uh, 8 core 16 threads it's a great CPU very pow power efficient as well as provides a lot of performance okay it's got an RTX 3060 it's a 95 watt RTX 3060 which means 80 watt normal and 15 watt dynamic boost so if you are using a game which is particularly CPU uh, GPU intensive and doesn't use the CPU as much so you're gonna see uh, you know 95 watt in the highest performance mode and it's got 16 gigabytes of RAM in dual channel 512 gigabyte M.2 SSD PCIe and uh, it's got a 144 color accurate display as I said already I think so and uh, overall the price is just perfect one like 5000 rupees in fact uh, after seeing all the specs of this laptop and you know the HP's cooling solution is very effective uh, I think this is officially the best RTX 3060 laptop that you can find right now now the thing is that uh, the pricing of this laptop is little bit confusing as it's it says one like 5000 rupees but if only if you pre-order and you can only pre-order if you are I think an Amazon Prime member so yeah uh, if you're Amazon Prime member and if you pre-order you're gonna get one like 5000 rupees but I'm not sure uh, what the price will be after it uh, it gets if the after the pre-order deals are over will it go back to one like seventeen thousand then you may argue uh, for or against other laptops uh, so yeah but at one like five thousand rupees it's just it just smashes everything out of the water uh, I think it's the mo best uh, RTX 36 laptop best value for money RTX 36 laptop in India at the moment moving on to the next variant which has the 5800H uh, it's got all the same same specs as the 3060 model, but it has a 3050 Ti. Okay, so what do I think of this model? So there's a difference of 15,000 going from the RTX 3050 Ti up to the RTX 3060. And uh, trust me, guys, if you can spend 90,000 rupees of your very hard-earned money. I definitely request you to skip this 3050 Ti variant and go for the RTX 3060 variant. Please, I request you. The 3050 Ti is one of the most disappointing releases by Nvidia. I am saying it because even the maximum wattage 3050 Ti, which goes, I think, up to uh, 90 watts with dynamic boost, it does not beat the 1660 Ti in every game. The reason I am saying is. I am testing the MSI GF65 Thin, the gaming gaming uh, performance of the MSI GF65 Thin, and trust me, guys, the 1660Ti is like neck and neck with the RTX 3050 Ti, the higher end variant, the like the like the 90 watt RTX 3050 Ti. Whereas the 3050 Ti in this HP, HP Victors is, I think it's 60 watt, 60 watt plus 15 watt, so 75 watt, I believe, and that 75 watt is only for you know when the dynamic boost kicks in. Other than that, guys, 4 GB of VRAM is not enough for it, it's not enough going forward. I, I trust me, it's not going, it's not good enough going forward. Uh, if you are going to use this laptop for productivity, you may argue, hey, I'm going to use this laptop for productivity. Uh, let me tell you, those the the best productivity softwares like DaVinci Resolve for video editing, they are highly GPU bound and it will easily eat up the 4 GB of VRAM of the RTX 3080 Ti. And that's the reason this 15,000 rupees gap between the 30 Ti and 3060 is definitely not big enough uh, when you compare the performance gains you get with the 3060. That to a 95 watt 3060. So you're comparing a 95 watt 3060 with a at max 75 watt RTX 3050 Ti. And basically, guys, 
all I want to say is just just go for the 3060 model please skip this model the only difference between this model and that model is that this one has a 4 GB 30 VDI and the 4 GB 30 VDI is is not a good release by Nvidia in my opinion moving on uh, moving on we have the Ryzen 5 5600 HP Victus which has 6 cores and 12 threads in fact I really love this 5600 processor guys I, I think it is uh, I think it is my uh, favorite 6 core 12th processor the reason being that it is so it is so power efficient and provides such a good IPC performance uh, the, perf it, the performance is incredible for the power usage so this thing comes with uh, a 5600H 6 core 12 threads and it comes with uh, 3050 graphics 4 gigabyte 3050 graphics 5 gigabyte M.2 SSD and single channel 8 gigabytes of RAM and it costs an amazing 73,000 rupees good job HP this is what the 30 should come under and HP has hit this perfect 73,000 rupees uh, price tag and I applaud HP for that but there is a problem with this laptop the problem is that it only has a 60 Hertz display now he, this 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 is quite uh, this is quite confusing as to whom is this laptop targeted for because the 3050 is not that good enough for productivity as big since it has only 4 gigabyte of VRAM which will be easily used up by GPU intensive productivity workloads like 3D workloads and all and on the other hand this thing doesn't have a 144 display for a high refresher gaming so I am not entirely sure who who is this laptop for this laptop is also just as thick and large as the other models it is not slim it's not lightweight and uh, it also doesn't have a high, high refresher display so I'm quite conflicted about this particular model uh, I'm not sure whether to recommend it or not so I'm just gonna say this much if you want a laptop for AAA gaming and you want a Ryzen processor with it and also you want the laptop to be cool maybe that's when I can recommend the recommend this model but then again the problem is that this 3050 does not cannot beat the 1660 Ti in the MSI GF65 that I've been testing in fact the difference can be quite big in fact the difference can be quite huge in games where you are memory limited I mean VRAM limited so overall it's amazing laptop I just wish if this if this laptop came out with a 144 display with this entire the same configuration just a 144 display I think it would have been great uh, just hands down even if it, it would have been like priced at around 70 uh, say 78,000 rupees or even 80,000 rupees I would have just wholeheartedly recommended this laptop but it's it also doesn't have a 6 gigabyte graphics and it also doesn't have a 144 display so I'm a bit conflicted on it so if you just want a good laptop good thermal 6 core CPU good enough for AAA gaming at least now if you want to play at you know high settings not the very highest setting then you can consider this laptop so stay tuned for more videos guys the MSI GF65 things gaming results are coming very soon and spoiler alert the MSI GF65 thing at 75,000 rupees is an absolute gaming beast uh, I can't wait to show you the results so yeah do watch my video when it comes out also take a look at the MSI GF65's uh, mini review that I did and also thermal testing results where I showed you how to underwhelm the laptop so that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching uh, like share and subscribe if you want to purchase any of these laptops the links are down in the description and I'll catch you in the next one peace